not something I'd expect anyone to ever wear. Mr. Morgan! <laughs> Hello, sister. Calderon. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? <laughs> Never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, oh, oh no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. Sister, I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat mine. <laughs> you are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. As you wish. <laughs> Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Well, anyway, I must focus on the work at hand. Goodbye, then. I have already taken up far too much of your time.